Angus, great to see you here at Digital Transformation World in Nice. Now, you have just made available and are publishing today some exciting new research on partner ecosystems. Can you tell me what the essence of that is, please? Sure, yeah. So, so the research covered 550 senior exec interviews across multiple industries in the US, Europe, and Asia. And it really focused on the number one challenge that CEOs face. Um, if, C, C, if CSPs are to avoid commoditization, they are to win new customers and grow revenue, grow dividends, and grow their share price, then they must adapt to digital far more quickly. And that means taking advantage um, of the, all the new technologies rolling through. So there's three things they must do. Really, first of all, they must be more systematic in the way they create new products and services which are more sophisticated, more compelling, um, and, and also avoid being easy for, for competitors to copy. They must also retain their customer relationships and not allow OTT players really to take their customers off them. And then thirdly, few innovations these days are created solely in-house. So partner ecosystems are absolutely critical. So this is really the business model, and our research looks at the business model um, and then looks and really drills down on partner ecosystems as a major theme within that. And amongst that, what have been the top takeaways? I think that the top takeaway really is that as the CSPs really get this, and they really understand that digital business models and more compelling products and services are critical, but there's a gap opening between knowing what to do and actually doing it. So, so if I look at uh, the, the, the research, something like 69% of CSPs put digital business model and new products and services as their number one priority. So they really understand it. Half of, of the respondents really said that partner ecosystems was a critical part of being able to do that. Well, let me pick you up on that gap with the execution. Yeah, so, so um, while 69% said products and services and digital business models were the number one priority, only 26% are actually doing it, have got new products and services in, in the pipeline. That compares to 34% across all industries. I mean, some of the other challenges we see, for example, is that uh, CSPs are partnering, the top three people they're partnering with <clears throat> are other CSPs, IT and technology companies, and utilities. So, so where, where, are the, where, where are the startups? Where are the digital players? They're really partnering with companies who look exactly like themselves. Whereas, if you look forward two years, what they're saying is that will evolve. They're seeing far more partnering with manufacturing, uh, with transport, and other sectors. So maybe it is moving in the right direction. It's just a huge lag between the two. So, so you're talking about ecosystems being formed there. Why don't we see more of that? Um, well, so they, they see really three top barriers to, to, to change. Um, so the, the top three barriers have all got a technology element. So they see it's very difficult with the current complex IT landscapes. They see it's difficult um, for them to um, extend their current um, uh, technology to include partner ecosystems, but most importantly, digital is a new way of working. It's things like DevOps, continuous development, continuous deployment. It's all that kind of experimentation ways of working, and they're struggling to get that, that, that right. I mean, we, we do see some partner ecosystems, you know, in B2C it's with media and content, and in enterprise it's really with, with ICT, but those barriers to change are really stopping them moving forward. And you, you're here as Bearing Point. Yeah. How, do, how does Bearing Point help um, solve these Challenges. So, so, so Bank Point really combines consulting with a major play in digital business platforms with our Infinova uh, product set. So that can really combines open APIs, open source, and open architectures with our own proprietary components. So we can really help companies the whole way through the cycle, set their digital ambition, innovate new products and services, build their partner ecosystems, and then with our technology really execute very quickly on that model. Well, thank you very much for the time. Good thank to you. see you here this year, Angus. Thank you.